Yo, yo, what's yo, up, yo, what's up, here with, here another, with game another game play in the day. I'm going to be bringing you my first impressions, impressions of Battlefield, Battlefield 2042. 2042. Stay tuned, stay tuned. So at the time I'm making this video, I've got roughly about nine hours logged into it, or maybe I'm right at the 10 hour mark. I do have the gold edition, so if I'm correct, I'm able to play more than the 10 hours, which would explain uh, why I'm still able to play if I'm definitely past the 10 hour mark. But first off, the thing is just an absolute fun game to play. It is a warm welcome from the first person shooters we've had over the past year, especially dealing with Warzone itself. Uh, and, and I'm absolutely having a great time. But that being said, there are definitely some issues. So one of the biggest issues that you're going to find in this game is definitely getting into a match for a lot of people. And it's not something that happens all the time. From time to time, you're going to get like a network error, and it's going to prevent you from actually going into a match. Now, there is a quick fix for this, especially if you're on console. Simply just turn off the console. So if you're on a new Series X, for Series S, you're gonna actually have to hold down the power button for it to fully turn off. You're not wanting to go into standby mode. So you're gonna close the game and then completely have your system power off. And then that is, when you turn it back on, going to clear out all the cache and allow you to actually play the game itself. Again, just jump right into matches. Again, this doesn't really happen very often, but when it does happen, you'll notice it just select a match and then it'll search for it and then kick you right back to the menu. So if you see that happening, just go ahead and do what I said. Turn off your play, uh, turn off your console, and then you'll be good to go from there. If you're playing on PC, I'm giving a guess that all you have to do is close the client at which that runs the game. So if you're, if you're running Steam, if you're running Steam, just simply close the the game and then close Steam, and then launch it. And I'm guessing, and again, I'm guessing, I'm speculating. I don't actually know because I don't play on PC. It should work from there. Another thing dealing with the network is connection itself so after you get into a game there are a lot of connection problems now maybe all the servers are not online at the moment just due to the fact that it's only in early access for people who have pre-ordered it and have EA Pro and, and, and all the other ways of getting it now I'm sure you guys know exactly how to get it if you've gotten it or maybe you don't want to spend $120 for the ultimate edition I know a couple of my friends didn't want to once you get into it though most games, I'd say roughly about 85%, just just a ballpark guess, will run smoothly. But then there are times you get in there and you'll just like, it seems like you're dropping frames, but you're not, you're you're just lagging. Like it, it's, it's really bad. And then it eventually catches up and you're fine, usually for the rest of that match. And it only happens maybe like one match out of 15, 20 matches. So it doesn't happen very often at all. But again, we see this with a lot of battlefields the game launches and then they have a lot of network problems and bugs they have to work out so this is something that I was expecting going into even though they had three years working on it I still expected to have problems like this and hopefully they have it fixed within the next week whenever everyone else is playing and I'm just counting on the fact that maybe they don't have all the servers up and there'll be tons and tons more servers available. I want to thank you guys for dropping by if you are enjoying the video so far please do me a favor and hit the like button it really does help out a lot and I will hit you with the next. Speaking of servers, one of my favorite things, so maybe I just, two bashing things right there, so let me give a praise on one thing. One of my favorite things is Portal. I didn't think it was gonna be live until the, until a couple weeks after the legit launch of Battlefield, and maybe there's features that were still waiting to come, but the feature that I would use it for, which is just server browsing, and allowing people to create smaller maps, uh, or take a conquest map and just, turn it into like a 64 map that's available and it is working amazing you can go and you can see what your ping is going to be on that server they can set up the map exactly how they want it so if you just want snipers only or you just want this that and the third yada 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 that is 100 percent available for you and joining those is completely easy like there's no, there's no hard work in it and i absolutely love it especially if you're new to battlefield uh a couple of these that I play with right now, they're completely new to Battlefield, never really played any. Um, that is a nice warm welcome. And you don't have the ability to unlock all your guns and stuff right now. So you get stopped halfway to rank 11. Uh, side note, if you are not able to do early access and you were worried that you're going to be at a huge disadvantage come next week, you won't. You're going to be at somewhat of a disadvantage, but not much. 
because again you can't go past rank 11 and a half and then after you get your gun to a certain rank it no longer uh registers that you're getting any more kills for it so i just unlocked ak-47 or ak-74u whatever it is and i'm not able to unlock any attachments for it because no matter how many kills i get it registers that i am not getting a kill and that's to prevent me from somehow making it to max rank or whatever the case may be before the game actually fully launches put me at a huge advantage compared to new people but going back to what i was saying earlier just to touch on it one more time if you are looking forward to playing smaller maps or you don't want to just play the two game modes that are currently available which is conquest and the other one being breakthrough or you don't want to play hazard zone there's still so much content in this game it's not even funny because of portal Portal allows you to play the old Battlefield 3 games, and not games, but the maps itself and using their guns. There's just too much content for me to list. Trust me, getting this game is well worth it. You're going to have more than enough content to keep you busy for definitely a year, and then what their release is going to keep you busy for years to come, at least two years until the next uh, Battlefield comes out. Almost like Call of Duty. Let's... One issue I did notice about this game is crossplay. And if one thing else I noticed is crossplay seems to be an issue if you're dealing with current gen and old gen. So I have a buddy of mine who purchased the game. We were looking forward to playing it, go through the entire process of downloading it, only for him to realize that he doesn't have the exact version that I have. So he got the series, he got the exact same version I did, the Gold Edition, but since he's on regular Xbox, you know, Xbox X, or whatever, I couldn't play with him until I downloaded the old gen version of the game, which is fine because I bought the Gold Edition, so it just immediately comes with it, and it was a significantly less download. But if me and him are playing together and I have another buddy who is playing on PC and just has a standard edition, we won't be able to play together because crossplay will only work if you're using that specific version. And the old gen only runs with 64 players. I was unaware of all of this. I don't know if you are aware of this, but I was unaware of all of this. Old gen runs on 64 players instead of 128. That does make sense to me, seeing how 128 players is a lot of uh, pressure on the, the new consoles. So that's why they only runs at... 60 frames per second instead of allowing 120 frames per second. But I do digress. Uh, if you have a Series X and you have a couple of people who want to play and they're playing on PlayStation 4 or they're playing on just the regular Xbox, you're going to have to download the old version. And you're not going to see a difference graphically, but you are going to see a difference in the performance itself. 64 players versus 128, so on and so forth. So, speaking on Conquest, which is their complete all-out war game mode, uh, I do have to give complete praise to this. It is an absolute, astronomically big map for all the maps you play. Because there's there's seven maps for Conquest, there's seven maps for Breakthrough. If I believe my, my math is correct, that's 14 total maps. So carry one, and you're there. But... When you play Conquest or even Breakthrough, there's just so much that's going on around. You've got the jets, you've got the, you know, the Hilo and everything else you used to with Battlefield. But you're adding in 128 players versus all the previous ones have been 64 players. Doubling it up and it is just absolutely phenomenal. Like, there's just so much going on you around you at any time. If you think... That just because they made the maps bigger and, and only doubled the player count that you're going to have super dull moments. No. Those dull moments are few and far between. And there will be a jet blowing up your building that you're currently standing in. Or a tank blasting through the, the house that you are wanting to go through within a matter of seconds, minutes. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely wonderful. The tick counter is like 1,500 instead of like your usual 600. So maps do last a little bit longer. I'm seeing an average of between 35 to 45 minutes for a map to take uh, for an entire length. But that is actually pretty on par with, with Warzone right now. Warzone typically lasts anywhere between 25 to 40 minutes, depending on how much camping and stuff goes on. So Battlefield taking 35, 45 minutes, 
it, it's not long at all. At least not in my opinion. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.